Hi everyone! Today I am going to show you my second Pictura book and this one is Medieval Town by Levi Pinfold. And probably this book is my favorite in the whole series. It has the same format as the first Pictura book which I already shown you. Size is 23 by 17 centimeters. It has glossy uh, textured car cardstock cover. On the back side we have some information about Pictura series. And I was quite happy to find this short interview with the artist Levi Pinfold. And I especially loved his idea that behind each successful painting or successful coloring always there is an idea and a story. If you are able to imagine to invent some story behind your coloring page, you will be able to color it beautifully. And that's my way. I always try to think about what I have on the page. And this really helps me to decide which colors I will use. Just like in other Pictura books, we have eight pages to color in total. They are connected and create beautiful panorama of medieval city. Pictures are so detailed that even if they are not big in size, I am <laughs> afraid that it will take a long time to finish this picture. I am absolutely in love with Levy Pinfold art style. I love how he draw both buildings and characters and all small details here. You can see that this book is similar to Grayscale book, but it was very cleverly done. I love that objects which are closer to us are printed in thicker dark gray lines and uh, Landscape behind is printed in a very thin pale grey line and it really helps to create this perspective and three-dimensional picture and it also will be very easy to color. Sometimes I think that I don't even need to color this beauty. Pictures are so beautiful by themselves, have so many interesting details to look at that you can just spend time looking at them and imagining stories. So if you are a lover of maybe uh, Walter Scott novels or other night romance, other books about medieval time, this is, will be definitely an, an interesting coloring book for you. I wish that Levi Pinfold would create another coloring books because this is definitely an amazing artist and his style also a little bit reminds me about Tomislav Tomic. Just look at this cute market scene. So many amazing details here. I love quality of the paper is thick like a cardstock. I don't know how it will behave on this folds, but I think that if I use watercolors, probably everything will be all right. Each time I look at this picture, I find new and new interesting details. I hope that you are able to see this castle somewhere behind of our medieval town and on the back side of coloring pages we have interesting historical information and description of each character which we could find on pictures and some hints how to draw them by ourselves so if you love Canterbury Tales or Walter Scott novels, you may be interested in this coloring book. I purchased mine from Book Depository and I will leave you a link in the info box. 
Thank you for watching and for sharing with me joy from this new beauty in my coloring book collection. Happy coloring time to you and thank you for watching. Bye!